You got two minutes and 30 seconds. All right, YouTube, been waiting on my wife. We're going to a car meet, so we're going to be casually late. You ready, beautiful? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Going down. For real? 89 is the high. Sunny skies. And we're on the front. In the truck? Yep. Good morning, morning. Oh. How you doing? Your car's up front. Way up to now. We're going to a car meet uh, at okay. McLaren and Houston. Oh, nice. Yeah, beautiful day. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. How are you doing? How are you doing? Appreciate it. All right, man. Mr. Blunt, let me give you some water, please. You like All right. some cold water? Yeah, cold water be fine. Okay, made it in the car. Mm -hmm. Now we got to get sunglasses and get the car clean. Maybe a few minutes late. Yeah. All I need him to do is just unlock the truck. I have to run and get him. Check out this bad boy. Mm, mm, mm. That's luxury right there. Oh man! This guy's running, boy. He's running that truck. Full oh. sprint. Well, if he fall, I'm rolling. He tired now. He stopped. Oh, yeah. My man running out there. Check him out. He working for his 10 bucks. Ugh. All right. Thank you, my man. You have a good day. All right, we can see if we get the car clean and on to the car show. See, that's what I'm talking about. Man, work hard for his money. I appreciate that. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> that water went flying driving this thing like I'm in my truck. you think y'all be to get to me? Like 20 minutes. Ah, okay. All right, I ain't gonna have time. Thank you, man. Okay. Got the roll out there dirty, man. It's dirty, too. Yeah, it is what it is. But, well, baby, let's just wait and get it clean if it's that dirty. I think he said it's gonna take 20 minutes, like, to clean it. Can he ask him if he can get on it right uh, now? I think it's gonna be 20 minutes, baby. They got one, two, three cars in front of them. You don't have a wipe to wipe it down? Mm-mm, mm -mm, ain't bring nothing. That's what it is. Two different platforms as far as 
how they built these cars. Same engine, but different transmission. This car, the Huracan, can see more room in it for one thing. It's like this one is a little bigger. Oh, really? Yeah, wider, a little longer. Pretty much the same car, just different suspension. Engines are the same. This one has a better transmission. This thing shifts stupid hard, like it'll make you sick. Yeah, it's just, just a, every time it shifts, you can feel it. And that's a Ferrari. Yeah, that's the car I wanted before I drove the Lambo. It's like night and day with how good the Lambo ride compared to the Ferrari. I'm really liking these Porsches. Yeah, I think they got rid of the green one. Six hundred LT. In case y'all wanted to know how much they cost. That color, right, is everything. I know. The color is gorgeous. Yeah, it's their newest car. Yeah. So the couple that put on this event. Mike and Julie with IDS Supercars. This is their personal McLaren. They just got this car, I think about maybe two, three months ago. The little boy take a picture. I know, right? And then I want you to uh, explain to me about this red one over here. It looks pretty interesting. Oh, this one right here? Yeah. Okay, uh, the guy that owns this car, he's a prick. He, yeah. don't, he don't like people. Uh, he don't like people, period. People around his car. So I couldn't sit on it right here while you take it? No, I don't think he'd like that. The carbon fiber. Yeah, we have the carbon fiber front bumper with the splitter. We have the carbon fenders with the carbon air ducts. Keeps the wheels and tires super cool at high speed. Carbon fiber skirts. So what about the <laughs> I don't know. Like is that part of the logo? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Those fingerprints are there because when your wife takes forever to get ready in the morning. Whew. I'm in car heaven right now. These McLaren's are beautiful. Look at the seats in this thing. Wow. Man, look at this. This is the McLaren Center. Look at the wing on this thing. Like, fully active. And this thing is sick. Hey, buddy. What's up, girl? Yeah, yeah. Time to get off the boat. I see. Oh, bro, <laughs> this has been nonstop, man. So what you doing up here in Houston? Just spending the weekend. Oh yeah. That's it. Me and the wife. It was our birthday Thursday, and then uh, today our wedding anniversary. So we came out here to enjoy, man. She liked the cars. Oh, so she loved it. Oh, yeah. She loved the cars. All right, YouTube. This is the man here that built my turbo kit. So I'm gonna let let him tell y'all a little bit about the kit and and all what we did on the car. Hi, how's it going? My name's James Gertz, uh, owner of Gertz One Performance Racing Organization. Everyone knows us as G1 Pro. We build turbo kits for Lamborghinis, for everything, whatever. Intake manifolds for Corvettes, it doesn't matter. Ford to Ferrari, we do it all. Right here, this car, we right now make the most power per pound of boost than any other shop out there. Five pounds of boost, this thing's making 750 wheel. That's 900 at the crank. Everyone else out there, they're out there pushing seven and a half, eight pounds of boost, you know. So we like to build on efficiency and provide a quality system, you know, best bang for your buck, most horsepower for your boost. That's how we do it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm 100% satisfied with it. Kit came out awesome. Here's his logo right here. And that's your Instagram too, huh? Yeah. Instagram G1 Pro. So y'all check them out. Y'all want to get a Lambo, Audi, anything. We can do it. We can do it. I got a friend of mine that's gonna be coming to you. Uh, looking like Charles. He just bought an RE. Okay. So I told him. V8, V10. Yeah, V10. V10. Yeah, V10 RE. Yeah. Get him hooked up. Yeah. Yeah. Come get in your car. Okay, you get him this new car. Most fun you can have. 
Oh, That's what he was just saying. Yeah, it's just, it's unbelievable. You know about the long tail, right, Dominic? No, sir. So it has the topic sauce, harder punching gears, track characteristics. It's not as fast as a 720 as nothing is, but yeah. arguably it's more fun. It's, it's just a lot of fun wow. to drive. This thing is gorgeous. Yeah. It's like looking in a mirror while you're standing on your head. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to, to picture describe. that. I ain't getting rid of that. You will if you drive this for a while. I don't know, huh? What, you know what? Your wife should have a faster car than you. I don't know. Faster than a Lambo? Oh, it'll tear it up. Oh, I don't know if I want it now. I don't want something that fast. Why? Your ice cream will never melt on the way home. I don't know. Man, this thing is gorgeous. It's, it's cool. artwork. I love to drive this thing. I know y'all busy right now. Um, I've got one. Um, we could probably drive. Okay. They got one outside. I'll get you one for that. Okay, that's perfect. Man, this black on black. Is this a special order, the way they did it's this? It's not black. Well, they were all special orders. Okay, all they, of them. There's no, these weren't stock cars. So when they did, you know, you know anything about the long tail? No, I do not. Our first model was the 12C. Okay. From there we went to the 650. Okay. The 12C is probably as raw as you can get, but it really exemplifies the fact that it was made by racing car designers. Okay. So if you had a $2 hose, you need a hose clamp you needed to replace, it's 14 hours of labor to get to it. So they really refined it with the 650. Yeah. And then they came out with the 650 long tail, the top exhaust, hard punching gear. People were complaining that our shifting's too linear. Mm. It's too smooth. So you're coming from a Lambo. Yeah. You're used to hitting the throttle pretty hard. Mm -hmm. No, this is fuel injected. It's easy on the throttle. Mm -hmm. You run through the gears, whether you're an automatic or manual, without mm -hmm. letting off the throttle. Wow. It's a different ride. So I have a car with regular seats. So I'm going to go get the keys, but okay. it's a coupe. That's cool. But they're, all of our cars are track ready. This is track focused. So if you were tracking, you mm. can go from the street to the track. We don't void the warranty. We do require um, pre and post track inspections. Exactly. Um, we do have GT4 and GT3 race cars. Yeah, I see we that. Just, now the Senna is more track focused. We have two Sennas here right yeah. now. They're both track. Um, we do have the GT3. Uh, are coming out for the center will be 75 of those they started a million and a half and then we have our ultra lightweight it will be the first mclaren where we have titanium airs in our carbon fiber wow. when you look at other manufacturers that sell that their cars are 700 grand so we're a lot less for what you get google men's health the car that saved my life so to give you an idea how well our cars are built if you look right there you'll see this car that went off the mountain it had two people in it that were doing 110 miles an hour. The first time they hit the mountain, they were upside down at 70 miles an hour. They both walked away after rolling 90 feet down the mountain without a scratch. Wow. Read the whole article. Uh, we are That's awesome. actually that car. It's part of the Claren folklore now. Wow. People say, why did that dry guy drive off that mountain? Well, he was behind the wheel for three miles. And a race car driver 30 years ago told me something everyone should think about. You know what confidence is? Mm -hmm. It's that feeling you get that split second before you really screw up. That driver was full of confidence. Wow. You got to respect these cars. There's nothing awkward or cumbersome in a McLaren. I use the word symmetry. The symmetry between the road, the car, and the driver is seamless. Yeah. So, you know, that's really what you're getting. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to drive that one when you're ready. I'm going to go get you. All right, guys. My first time riding a McLaren.
up DCB fam? Couldn't uh, get a video of me driving the McLaren, the uh, 600 LT Spider. They didn't want to let us drive that one, so they let me drive the coupe, but I wanted to drive the Spider. I wanted to drive it with the top down. I'm not about to buy no McLaren, but I just wanted to, wanted to see what the car was all about. It was cool. It really ain't got nothing on the Lambo, to be honest with you. But it was a cool car to drive. Interior is beautiful in that car, as y'all seen, but salesman, he didn't want to record me driving it either. I don't know what was up with that. It was cool for me to record him, I guess. I don't know, insurance purposes or whatever the case may be. But back at the hotel, looking over my car. I've been valeting this thing all weekend and had my nerves bad. But thank God nothing happened to it. Everything good. I didn't tear up the front bumper riding through these Houston streets. They gotta do something about these streets, man. They garbage. So I'm about to load the car up. Me and the wife about to go to the mall, grab something to eat, and we're gonna get back on the road, man. I appreciate y'all checking out this video. Hope y'all enjoying these videos. I'm having fun doing this. Y'all stay tuned to the channel, man. We got a lot more coming. But in the meantime, man, y'all have a blessed day, and I'll holler at y'all later. Check out this view, though. It's gorgeous. Y'all have a blessed day. Before I go, I'm about to load this car by myself. So, normally I don't do this. So I'm gonna have y'all help me. I'm gonna have y'all watch my blind side over here. Make sure I don't hit nothing. Get y'all set up so y'all can see how tight it is in here. All right, guys, what did y'all think of that? I got this sucker in here. Look how tight. That's about two and a half, three inches. This side, about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. I know y'all probably saying right now, crazy. That's about my fifth time doing that by myself, so I ain't no rookie with it. So what I'm gonna do, I take these boards like this, and I step on them, and it's just pushing up on the tire, both sides. Need to clean my trailer out. I got bicycle, the wheels for the vent here. All right? I know y'all might be saying, man, why you got a simple way of doing it? I like doing stuff the hard way. It's just me. Mind your business. <laughs> Tied down, buddy. Turn these lights off. We're good to go. It's simpler than it look, y'all. It only takes me about driving it in, strapping it down, 15 minutes. Look, I'm done, man. I'm hot. I'm gonna holler at y'all.